This tutorial is about interrupted animations. Sometimes you'll have your state machine all carefully laid out, your logic and your, your transitions and your jump nodes and everything all laid out so that animations flow into one another. And you'll get weird behavior from your characters. And you can't figure out what is going on. All the logic seems to make sense. And the problem is that when an animation gets interrupted, say for example, your character gets hit or bumped or something in the middle of doing an animation. So that animation doesn't get to complete and the transition doesn't happen the way you think it does in your head. And you end up with a situation where your character is now permanently invulnerable or can't move or the enemy stops doing its AI logic, stops following, stops doing anything, it just stalls. And I found that a handy way of dealing with that, as we previously touched on with callbacks, if we take a look at our enemy, there we are there, in your main idle walk run node that everything flows back to, the callback for when entering this state, like normally, if you look here, I have uh, animation start that gets called when this animation starts doing things. And with this one, I have an animation start and an animation complete. But I found that this animation complete callback doesn't always happen. If, say, for example, when it's attacking, it gets hit. It, this doesn't always get called, and then everything stalls. So what I did is in the main flowback node, the, the state where everything flows back to, your default state, whatever that is, on entering that state, call your animation complete function. And in that function, you restore controls. You turn your AI movement back on. You turn invulnerability off, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All of those things. Put that in this event that you're calling when entering the state so that no matter where you were, no matter what was happening, when you return back to this default node, you reset the status of everything back to their default states. And I found that the various issues that I was running into, where I was getting odd behavior, things were shutting down, things were getting stuck, etc., that all seemed to get fixed by just doing that one thing. So rather than relying on when I enter an animation, I set a bunch of states rel reliant on that animation, and then when I exit that animation, I turn those states off, which most of the time works, but sometimes doesn't because sometimes you don't leave this animation state normally. By setting it here as well, or maybe only, depending on your situation, by setting it on the entrance of your default state, it always ensures that your character returns to its default behavior when entering this state, and that seems to solve the problem. Hope you guys found this helpful. Have a good one.